Hello. I'm Captain Vile. Welcome back. Oh, wait, hang on. Eh. Now, welcome back. Here's my desktop. Ah. Oh, I should... That's... That's fine. It's blocking the text. My camera. Hang on. One more thing. Uh, I just have to get out of edit mode for my camera. I did not find a way how to make the music quieter. I'm just stuck with loud music. I turned the sound down for you guys, so you don't have the loud music. But... No, no, no. You get to see why I was complaining so much the last couple episodes. Uh, get ready for it. Headphone warning. I'm serious. Three, two, one. See? And I have it. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that nice? Okay, back we go. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for the night. I mean, that's really the only reliable food source I have in a literal dungeon. It's just insects. I mean, I don't- I can't grow grocery shopping. There's not like a store- I, I live in a weird cave. Alright, so long. Ugh, oh, my neck. Keyboard up. So. What's in the refrigerator? For some reason, there is brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Can I steal it? There is some white fur sticking in the drain. That's gross. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic and said, oh no, no, she she doesn't clean her stove. She just cheats. No, she did, she, she's not a, a good, like, house owner who just does their chores. No, she, she uses magic. What the? This is it. Arovera, I hope you like it. Okay, don't touch my head. Stop touching my head. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Goodbye. Don't burn the home down the first time I'm here. Painting of, uh, mustard. Room under renovations. It's you! Weird plant. Weird der plant. Toriel's room. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle's passage? Okay. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of some other caliber. Amazing. Definitely bigger than the twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you open the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. If you bite into it, it like fills your mouth with foam. You've seen the videos. Scandalous. Sock drawer. Scandalous. Ah, the cactus. Truly the mo- I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. Why is it so red in here? Violently red. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Ooh, treasure chest. A box of kid shoes and disparity of sizes. A lamp. 
Oh, I like that more. I'm taking a nap. Phase down. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie on the floor. That's very nice, though. I, she was, like, giving it to you. Okay. I wonder what's in the secret basement. Do 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 Oh, hello. How did you know I was down here? Do you have security cameras? Are you monitoring me? Am I in the Truman Show? I think you should play upstairs instead. Okay. You've been really hospital to me. Uh, hospitat... Hospitatable? I'm, I'm not sure I even know the word I'm searching for. Hey, uh, you've been really nice. How do I get out? Up already, I see. Yeah, you just, like, dragged me out from the exit. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I have to get for the herb pie. That's how she eats. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Why? I hate children. Actually, that isn't very surprising. Still! I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? Uh, I'd like to not have Stockholm Syndrome set in. Why can I go home? <laughs> what? This... This is your home now. I've been kidnapped! Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? Well, 72 uses for snails. I can think of, like, one. Oh, two eggs. Ah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll... Here's an exciting snail fact. That's not a use. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Is that a joke? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. How do I get out of here? I have to do something. Stay here. She's gonna close the exit. I gotta get out of here. You wish to know how to return home. Do you not? Ahead of us lies the exit of the ruins. I knew it. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. It's like a one-way door. We should see something about that. I'm going to destroy it. You shouldn't do that about it. No one will ever be able to leave again. We're gonna starve in here if you do that. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! Like, you get up there by the count of three. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. They explode in that one hallway room. Except like, f uh, five others before the hallway room was put in. You know that one I told you about in like the first episode? I, I kept making that weird joke? Yeah, it's true. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. How do you know that? You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, as a school, it will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No! I'm a teenager. I'm rebelling. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. No. This is my... It is the final warning. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. It's literally just murdering you. Prove, prove it. Prove you're strong enough to survive. I'm going to set you on fire now! Toriel blocks the way. You couldn't pick any conversation topics. Say, what's with the weird green bar? Looks food. How did I dodge that? 
is acting aloof. Ow! Uh, pie! Full heal. I should not have wasted that here. Whatever. Ah, oh, they're bouncing around like ping pong. He's acting aloof. Just keep sparing her! Oh god. Maybe you could do a bit of sparing? Monster Cannon. Get the Monster Cannon. Recover 10 HP! What are you doing? Hang on, am I blocking the screen again? Ow. See if I'm blocking. No, I'm not. What are you proving this way? You want to go home, but, but please go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you. I know we don't have much, but we can have a good life here, eating snails, living in the dark, this weird cave. Why are you making this so difficult? Why are you making this so difficult? Let me leave. Please, go upstairs now. Uh huh. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Yeah, you almost murdered me. No. I understand. I gotta readjust my chair. Hang on. <clears throat> now, give me a second. Uh, I know you're working out like your emotional speech or something. I understand. You would just, I'm blocking the, maybe I should move that. I just, I looked down at it right now. I just gotta, gotta move that. Where should I put it? Can you see my, yeah, okay. Uh, here seems fine, but I, I want to block the text there. This, yeah, we'll move, move me over here. Ooh, whoop, hey, there's Riddler. Oh, God damn it, hang on, I got it. Get out of edit mode, I keep forgetting to do that. Here's my, uh, that seems fine. Mm. Excuse me. Okay, where are we? You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'm not your child, I just met you like four hours ago. I will put them on even before I was like an hour ago. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, 
I will not stop you. Okay. However, when you leave, please do not come back. Okay. I hope you understand. Alright, crazy lady I just met. Goodbye, my child. Still not your child. Get out of here. There's a lot that happens once we exit the ruins, so I'm actually going to end the video a bit early. I'm just going to get to the end of the ruins. Oh, I suppose we still have Flowey to talk to. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you're able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? That's not his voice, hang on. Will you kill? That's not his voice either. I gotta watch the frickin' first episode. <laughs> It'd be like, uh... Harry. That was it, yes. Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't rich I isn't rich side. This is so this is so this is so much more interesting. It's the troll face. Right, that was my best impression of it. Not much in carry. So let's get out of here. A lot of patches of grass you can just show up in. Patches of grass. What? We're playing Undertale? What? Nobody told me that. By Toby Fox. It's called. Can I go inside now? <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.